Well, don't say you were too surprised. I aimed to cut off the inside right with the arm block, protested Hokuto. But once the Yokozuna seizes me, I'm not going to win. I just don't have the ability, I'm afraid. Next, we've seen this man throw. And we've seen him boogie. So now let's see if Midori Fuji can thrust. Well, he connected, but train thruster Kotokuzan just about smiles in the face of those, and duly dodges. This lengthy Kashiwa Derby was taken by senior fighter Dai Shoho, who defended to conserve energy, then attacked with his last ounce of breath once Koto Shoho was out. Koto Shoho's second loss here means the division's sole leader is... <laughs> Yago! Fronting Oguruma Stable for the final time before it closes. Enho, still deep in demotion trouble, said, Yes, the final throw attempt was a bit desperate. He was so calm throughout, and my regret is that I didn't mix it up and confuse him more. In Division 1, current head referee Shikimori Inosuke, as is custom, offered to resign after his decision here was overturned. His second such case in just six days. After tearing off Shodai's grip and spinning him into position with a sublime hip twist, Meisei clearly won, only to see Inosuke point the other way. The referee later claimed that he knew Meisei had won, but had mixed up his east with his west. The sumo chairman, as is custom, rejected the resignation offer, but angrily suggested he get a grip. January 17th is Terutsuyoshi's 27th birthday, therefore the 27th anniversary of the Hanshin Awaji earthquake near his parents' house. He loves to win for the Awaji folk whenever this day comes. Today, I hope by coincidence, he was paired with Wakamoto Haru, whose hometown was destroyed in the 2011 earthquake. And Tsuyoshi was left feeling so downbeat, he could not face the media. For Motoharu, today also marked the anniversary of his sumo grandfather's death. His current ceremonial apron is a near replica of his grandfather's, and he part dedicated the win to him. Oho, whose own grandfather died nine years ago this week, really entertained, scooping his way to a third straight win over Yutakayama. But who won the initial charge? I did, claimed Oho, which meant that even when seeding the initiative, I could still pull it back. No, I did, countered Yutakayama in a separate interview. I lost simply because when he pulled me in, I didn't blow him away like I should. Ugh, let down by my finish again. Now, how many times was this same spectator hit? I made it three and another near miss. 
yet he would not be parted from that prize ringside seat. Staying power. In other action, Ichinojo was pleased with the way he cut off Uda's escape options with that tight overarm grip. He's difficult to handle and can throw anything at you, so I just told myself to stay calm, and the fight went right to plan, Ichi said. And someone's meditation sessions have paid off, as Mitake Umi formed a picture of tranquility before this bout. <laughs> he remains our leader, and according to NHK's Mainomi, could need as few as three more wins to secure Ozeki. I was focused and analytical in the way I fought, Mitake said. I, for one, am excited for him. Finally then, a little treat from Division 3. Two men who've known far bigger stages, Ryuden and Tomokaze. And Ryuden simply would not let air pass between them, as he suffocated his foe into surrender. He only speaks when he wins a title these days. Tomokaze, though, said, My tachi eye wasn't bad, but the rest of my moves let me down. I lacked the strength to go forward, basically. Now I will reflect and aim to bounce back. His march forward may have stalled, but ours sure continues. Hope you enjoyed today. Congratulations, Sadanomi, on a 600th career win. And see you tomorrow for day 10.